Hello everybody, my name is Sarek and this is going to be a quick review for the book Biocentrism, How Life and Consciousness Are the Keys to Understanding the True Nature of the Universe and it's written by Robert Lanza and with Bob Berman. Now this book is a very interesting book and actually I enjoy it quite a lot. I finished it about a couple of a couple of hours ago. Now what I really like about this book is that it tries to make a connection between consciousness and physics because what the claim is that any unified theory has to explain consciousness and basically all the theories that are out there right now such as quantum mechanics um, the most recent one string theory don't really explain you know consciousness how did it, how does it arise now he takes a, a different approach he says that the the way to understand how how reality actually works is to take an approach of biology and mix it with other disciplines such as chemistry uh, but mostly mostly quantum mechanics and biology and neurobiology in order to mix quantum mechanics with consciousness now this book does make some very um very bold facts to very bold statements to say the least um, they're not completely supported by quantum mechanics as far as I know now my understanding really comes from shows like you know through the wormhole and all those stuff I've seen those you know dozens of times and I also read some other books so I don't have a complete understanding uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't have an understanding of the math that goes on there. So most people would actually get their information from those type of shows or books, just like me. Now, I am actually really obsessed with this question of what reality is and religion and all that kind of stuff. And if you're gonna read this book, most likely you're gonna be too. Now, the thing that I actually really enjoy about this book is that maybe all the things he says are not true, but he does give you like a different way to look at. Uh, time and space and one of the things that I found that I never see in any other book is that he makes this statements about uh, limitations about language and, uh, and and also about logic which you know they're actually there but nobody takes into account they're just fundamental layers that you know they're, they're just a burden like he says that people just you know just take for granted now the book actually makes conclusions that what you the consciousness actually creates reality now most religions particularly your buddhism um, hinduism they do claim that uh, there's no real evidence as far as i know that actually does conclude that now the double state experiment which he explains does does point to that but i don't think it actually says you know exactly that that's what it is you know but anyways that's what he says um, and most of the stuff are really just logical things that he says and they do make sense like for instance time and space are just an illusion uh, from the from the human construct of the mind that we, we as humans we need to create this thing called time because we need to decide you know we're gonna be here at five o'clock but they're really just constructions of, of of the human mind they're not really physical things out there they're just um, variables to to make the math work now one of the things that he says that you know I don't think it's true is basically the last chapter he talks about how it might be that the spirit or consciousness I guess it's the same thing for him actually becomes eternal now that is just something that might give people some closure because if you actually read the entire book it does make sense all the things he says except for a couple of things because he makes a lot of bold statements but um, you know that's just something to consider don't take the last chapter too seriously other than that I also wanted to show that before you read this book for those people that are a little close-minded I recommend that you watch this video it's on YouTube it's called trial error the God complex and it basically tells you that people have this closed mind about you know what what is real and you know they don't want to be challenged in their beliefs and it's just a really good video. It only takes about 20 minutes, but um, I'm probably I'm pretty sure it's gonna be one of your favorites after that. Um, other than that, the book itself is very interesting. Uh, I'm thinking about reading other books are that are similar to it, like the holographic, um, the holographic book here and the quantum enigma. Those are gonna be my next ones because people seem to give it some pretty good reviews and they're actually pretty good. Uh, the book itself is actually a little complicated if you never d done any any real science so you're gonna have to read it a little a little closely and you have to go back a little bit read it again 
other than that, I'm, I'll probably give it about four and a half stars because I really enjoyed it, but uh, some of the things I don't, I just don't think they're true. All right, I'm gonna put a link to the to the Amazon page so you guys can purchase it if you're interested. And if you have any comments or questions, just go put it in the comment section. Also, don't be a dick and you know say stuff that oh you don't understand this math so you don't you don't know what the hell you're talking about. I was reading some of the comments people gave on this book and it's just like a war there. People are just they're insane. You know, everybody should be entitled to their own opinion. We don't have all the knowledge that everybody needs to so you know you're gonna have to say your opinion with what you know all right thank you for watching and uh if you're interested purchase the book from the link all right thank you